For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the moment of each of the three forces and what it, the moment that it creates about point A right here. So the first thing I like to do is divide the forces into X and Y components. The Y component of this force is this vector right here. And it can be calculated by doing 250 newtons times the cosine of 30, which is equal to 216.5 newtons. The X component it doesn't really matter because it's moving straight away from A so it creates no moment. Now the second force, force 2, has a Y component and an X component right here. Again the X component is aiming straight at A so it creates no moment and the Y component of F2 has a magnitude of 300 times the sine of 60 which is equal to 216 newtons 260 and this is 216.5 now this force, force 3 has an X component and a Y component the X component of F3 has a magnitude of 500 times 3 over 5 which means it's 300 newtons and the Y component of F3 has a magnitude of 500 times 4 over 5 which means that it has a magnitude of 400 newtons so this is 300 and this is 400 the 300 acts along this lever arm and the 400 acts along this lever arm of length of 5 meters and this one has a length of 4 meters given right here so the moment that the first force creates about point A which is the moment that this force 1 creates assuming that counterclockwise is positive is equal to 216.5 newtons times the length of the lever arm which is 2 meters and it's pushing it clockwise therefore it's negative so this is equal to negative 433 newton meters or 433 newton meters going clockwise because it's negative the moment that the second force creates about point A is equal to 260 newtons of course times the length of the arm that is turning which is turning an arm of 5 meters and is turning it clockwise therefore is negative so 260 times 5 comes out to be 1300 newton meters negative or 1.3 kilo newton meters going clockwise and the moment that the last force creates which is the third force about A is equal to 300 newtons which is this force right here and it turns this 4 meter lever arm 4 meter and it turns it counterclockwise so it's positive and the other one is a 400 newton force calculated right here right here on the diagram it goes straight down and it turns this lever arm of length of 5 meters and it turns it to go clockwise therefore it is negative so when you plug these numbers into your calculator you get that this is equal to negative 800 newton meters or 800 newton meters going clockwise
so final answer for the moment created by the third force final answer by the moment created by the second force and final answer by the moment created by the first force please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you